welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. Happy to have you with us. They use fun experiences and products to get children excited about and embracing health and wellness early on. Today, we tell you about a program called Eek MD, empowering every kid for maximum development to tell us all about this great program and how it works and what they do to instill great healthy values that will last a lifetime. With us this morning is Dr. April Innes, pediatrician and founder of Eek MD. Good yes. morning. Good morning. Doctor, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for having me. I it's just, a pleasure to be here with you I today. just want to say, just the name alone, Eek MD, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. That's wonderful. So what can you tell us about Eek MD? Sure. So as you said, it stands for Empowering Every Kid for Maximum Development. And the goal is to give kids the knowledge and the skills that they need to develop into effective advocates for their own health and well-being. So here we are teaching children. I guess what you want is for them to basically be their own author and just say, I want to be Absolutely. healthier. I want to you know, choose the right things to eat and I want to do the right things, Absolutely. you know, the healthy things. Is that yes. what you want to instill in these children at yes. an early age? Yes. So the goal is to get them excited about and embracing health early on. So I don't know if anyone out there in the audience has ever been to the doctor with a teenager, for example, yes. and you just kind of want to shake them and say, will you tell the doctor what's going on with you? You know, because yes. they sit there and they're kind of mom. Moms and they... do all the talking. Right. Moms do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So my goal is to uh, provide them with the confidence that they need early on to, to feel okay with communicating with doctors yes. and other trusted um, professionals to, about their so health. So to start communicating everything about their health at an early age. Yes. Is that okay? So how do you do it? I was looking through everything that you sent me. There are so many components to this program. Yes. So tell us, how does it work? Sure. So the goal is to is to explore the physician's world. So why are we asking the, some of the things that we ask? Why are we doing some of the things that we do? But to explore that through games, activities, um, creativity, and and basically fun. You know, um, we we prioritize fun over being too teachy or yes. or didactic. We hope that the learning comes as a byproduct of the child having having Enjoy fun and being. And creative and enjoying themselves absolutely so you have workshops yes. and I I do want to highlight this doctor that uh, in the information you sent us it says well Latinos make up more than 17 percent of the, the population right. in the US and there's only 5% right. of Latinos that are doctors. Right. Is that something that you also want to address? This is so important to me and something that's really near and dear to, to my heart. It's a really unfortunate thing. And it's certainly not because we don't have plenty of Latinos who are bright and qualified and can do this job. That's not the problem. The problem, part of the problem is exposing kids to this possibility early on. So our activity, Roadmap to Medicine, we kind of open that possibility up through playing this really fun and exciting game called called uh, Dr. How, where we walk through the process from start to finish how you become a physician. And by opening that up, we hope that that it provides kids some of the confidence they, they need to walk that path one yes. day. To so show them that it is possible, that they can do it, but in a fun and really interesting way. Is my doctor a vampire? Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> Talk to us about that, doctor. So EKMD is excited to share that we're actually going to be part of this year's Boston Mini Maker Fair yes. at the Boston Children's Museum on September 17th. We'll be there from the hours from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 4 p.m. And the goal of this workshop is my doctor a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> is, is because of this idea that sometimes when you come to the doctor, we ask for blood. So what's up with that? So mm -hmm. we hope to explore why doctors are getting blood, what they're looking to find, but in a really fun and interactive way. The driving force behind this whole project started when I was a brand new doctor. I was an intern just training in medicine. Yes. And I was asked to go draw an eight-year-old's blood. Not just any eight-year-old, one that was known to kick and scream and bite so quickly before I went what into What a good room. training you got, doctor. That's yes, awesome. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but what was, uh, what was tricky about this particular encounter was that, you know, um, 
he's been in and out of the hospital a lot, so he was really afraid when I came in with that needle. So before I went in, I sketched out some characters to explain why we were doing the blood draw. Oh, and you know what? Right. He actually enjoyed our encounter he together. He felt it was okay for right. you to do this. Right, and that's what ta and that's what taught me early on is that you know, kids need to feel powerful in, in the healthcare system. And that setting. they're making their own choice. They're allowing you right. to get the blood. Exactly. That is so great. Thank you so Please much do. for coming by and telling us Thank about you. it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. For more information about EKMD, you can call them at 617-958-1306 to get a direct link to their website and their different social media pages. You can visit us online at cbsboston.com slash centro. And by the way, have you visited our website lately? We want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of our show on our website. If you have time, visit us right now. If not, come back later for more of Centro. We also want you to connect with us online, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.